I'll be here. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, okay. You know, if you want to drive anytime, I'd be great. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. All right.
truckers area. They're right next to all the big trucks. Did you drive it into the gas station? Did you drive it out of the gas station? I went, I got, I think all you did was walk into the gas station. I got snacks. Who got the snacks? Somebody's got to get the snacks. You don't think those truckers, you've seen those truckers. You see how big they are. They, you know they're eating snacks. I've seen you eat a lot of snacks. Well. So you're doing the snack eating, but not the driving part. I'm a trucker. I've got the physique of a trucker. I've got the appetite of a trucker. I've got the skills, the practical experience. I've got a great driving record. In a truck? Expedition? No. Edge? No. I drove your truck. No, no. You drove that. Well, but listen, the truckers in this world, the truckers in the country are the backbone. They deliver goods, they deliver fuel, they deliver water, they deliver everything. So that's a pretty important job and you can't take it too lightly. You know, we're really, we're, we're moving your stuff across country, across the whole country. I mean, I'm moving it across the country. What are you doing now? I helped you load. No. No. I got the truck for you. No. You picked me up at the airport. No. I took a cab from the airport to the pinball museum. All but. No. Cab driver. You haven't even put fuel in this truck. What have you even done for this trip? I feel like you've gotten a lot of high scores in your game and written a fiction novel. Wait, people are going to want to read that? This whole journey across the country thing? That, that you know, truckers do it. We're passing these trucks. They do it all day long, back and forth. You're writing about something you They're have no idea because you slept and played games the whole time. If I wasn't here, in this seat, this cab, this truck cab, this big honking truck, who would be your sidekick? Who could you get this done? Yes. Exactly the same as I'm doing it now. Without you being there doing nothing. I don't think you appreciate the value of a trucker's co-pilot. The trucker team. You, you know, haven't even helped get directions. You haven't even found us a gas station. I've picked all of our exits. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. What'd you do? I got the GPS. That's you suctioned it to the windshield. I, you didn't suction yours to the windshield. And you couldn't even turn it up at first. I couldn't even hear it. I had to do that. And that's complicated. It's... So you put it on the windshield and plugged it in. That's all you got. It's not really my GPS. That's your contribution. Oh, it's now it's not even your Darren's. So it's Darren's fault that you suck your truck in. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we can blame Darren for a lot of things. And I think we'll just add this to the list. Windshield wipers. How about that? Turn the windshield wipers off. It's not raining anymore. There. Well, I thank help. you. Thank you for I that help. contribution. There you go. Good. Good looking out. The first time you've looked out out the windshield since we started yesterday. That's not fair. I mean, besides, besides to say that it was raining. Well, listen. When it wakes you up out of the dead sleep, this pounding rain. It's like you, I would think you'd slow down. You know, and like maybe it wouldn't be quite as loud. I have to make up for lost time for you not ever giving me a break. What's the difference? We're both sitting here. We're on the same seat. We're, we've been in the same amount of time. We're on the same road. It's no different. It's, you're just, you've got the steering wheel. Look, I can do that. I can do that. Can you do that in your sleep? Hold on. Because you're good at the sleeping part. Actually, I've been doing it. I keep waking up with these oh. these dreams. So I'm, interrupt like, your I'm a trucker. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. a trucker. I'm doing it. So you know, and that that energy, that that stress, when you, even when you're asleep, that can kind of wear you out. It kind of affects your sleep patterns. So you're having stressful dreams. Sure, because I'm trucking. I'm a trucker. You're trucking. I'm in the cab. I feel like you're sleeping in a truck. That doesn't make you a trucker. 
it's called a cab, like cabin, like the place where you sleep. Okay. So, I mean, I'm sure all those other truckers, we've seen their big lounge areas on the back of their truck. I don't know why we don't have one of those, but that's a different story. They're in the cab and driving while they're on the road. They gotta sleep sometime. So if I pull over and sleep, you'll never get home. Unless you actually were trucking. I bet I could find another driver that's appreciative of my trucking skills. All the all those trucks that have passed us, they've got an empty seat. They got a, I can run the CD, which we don't have again. Another story I'm not gonna get into. I could run the CB. I can run the GPS. I've, now that I know how to do that, I can tell them when to turn the windshield wipers on and off. So I've got some skills that are going to help the backbone that my of this country. Can do. Listen, she always sits in the back. See, <laughs> I'm up in the front seat. No, you don't get me there because she can't sit up here. She's not allowed. It says it right here on the sheet. <laughs> The one that you spent time studying. 46 you... inches. You're under 46 inches. You can't be in the front seat. So you can take that one right back. That one's back on you, your daughter. Ha! She couldn't do this. She's that tall. A like monkey me. could do what you're doing. Have you seen a 46 inch monkey? Yeah, they stand up on their hind legs. I'm pretty sure they're 46 inches. Yeah. <laughs> there again. Okay. We'll get all kooky here. You know what kind of trouble that'd be? You have to have diapers, you have to have bananas, you know, no, sure. I just, I just let him sleep and take him stop to take him to the bathroom. And just just like you've done this whole time. Listen, I did. Every time we've stopped, I've gone number one, I went number two a couple of times. It's while you were fueling it, but fueling it. So the trucking part. That's what truckers do. They have the area there. Did you know they have showers in there? Did you take one? You're oh, not I'm a trucker! <laughs> Go highway number two. Classic you know. Frank. <laughs> oh man, truck. That's what I'm gonna call my truck! <laughs> Classic Frank! Oh! Good idea, thank you. Big decal. Big decal. Big horn. This is your dream truck, right? My dream truck. My dream job. My dream truck. I wonder if they have to have a license. Yeah, it's called a commercial driver's license. <laughs> I bet that's easy to get. I bet you it's not. Ah, I bet you would know gonna, if you, you listen, drove some. Listen, you keep getting on this drive thing. We've gone, we're going to go from Las Vegas to Florida. 2,500 and some miles. You know, that's like a lot of experience. And that's what you need. So when you go put on your resume, you have experience yes. riding in a truck. Yeah, no, no, no. Trucking. Riding in a truck. truck. We have trucked 2,500 so miles. In your interview, they say, how much experience you have? Oh, I've driven 2,500 miles. You can't say you've driven. You've ridden 2,500 miles. Do you think that's on the test? Yes. Guaranteed. And, and then, you know what? They're going to have you actually drive the truck. 